Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Danny Alves. Daniel Alves da Silva, commonly known as Danny Alves, is a Brazilian professional footballer who plays as a right back for French club Paris Saint Germain and the Brazil national team. He serves as a third captain for his club before joining Barcelona in 2008. Alves spent a successful six year spell with Sevilla, winning two UEFA Cups and the Copa del Rey with the Andalusian side. He joined Barcelona for 32.5 million euros, becoming the third most expensive defender of all time. He won the treble in his first season with the club, and in the next season, won the Supercopa de España, UEFA Super Cup and the FIFA Club World Cup. Additionally, he helped the club to clinch another two Supercopa de España, five La Liga titles and two UEFA Champions League titles in the years that followed. Alves has held a Spanish passport since 2005. Alves is the second most decorated defender of all time in European competitions, with nine European medals, leaving him one behind Paolo Maldini on the all-time list. A full international for Brazil since 2006. Alves was included in their squads for two FIFA World Cups and four Copa America tournaments, winning the 2007 edition of the latter, as well as the 2009 and 2013 FIFA Confederations Cups. Early Life Alves was born in Juazeiro, a city in the Brazilian state of Bahia, to Father Domingos Alves de Silva, a farmer. He played football with the neighboring kids. Alves' father had a passion for football as well, and eventually managed to organize his own football team. Alves, at age 10, started as a winger, but, because of the lack of goals he scored, his father repositioned him as a right back, a position he still plays up to this day. Alves worked as a farmer and a trader in his youth. Bahia Alves made his professional debut for a sport clube Bahia in a match against Paraná Clube for the 2001 Campeonato Brasileiro Serie A. Bahia won 3-0, with Alves providing two assists and winning a penalty for the other goal. Head coach Evaristo de Macedo thereafter gave him a starting place in the team. In Bahia, he won the Campeonato Baiano 2001 and two times the Northeast Cup 2001 and 2002. His consistently good performances landed him a transfer, at first on a loan, to Spanish side Sevilla, midway through 2002. Sevilla After 2002-03, on loan to Sevilla from Bahia, Alves traveled to play in the 2003 FIFA World Youth Championship, where he impressed as Brazil won the tournament. He was named the third best player of the tournament and, after this, the Sevilla move was made permanent. In June 2006, Sevilla agreed to sell Alves to Liverpool, but Liverpool were unable to match Sevilla's asking price of around £8 million. In December 2006, he signed a new contract with Sevilla, tying him to the club until 2012. He had a successful 2006-07 season, making 47 appearances and scoring five goals. He played in every one of Sevilla's UEFA Cup matches, in a competition which the club went on to win. From his years in Spain, Alves acquired Spanish citizenship, thus allowing him to bypass any non-EU quota restrictions and exempting him from needing a work permit to play in any EU countries. On 1 August 2007, Alves told Sport TV he wanted to leave Sevilla for a European giant, later reiterating his desire to leave Sevilla de Marca saying he was flattered by Chelsea's interest and that he could never turn down such an opportunity. In an interview with Antenna 3 on 8 August, Alves confirmed his agent had been in England for some time handling Chelsea's offer, urging Sevilla to at least consider the offer. On 16 August 2007, Sevilla rejected an unspecified Chelsea bid and, six days later, rejected another two bids from Chelsea, considering them to be way below what was expected. Alves later revealed his dismay with Sevilla club president Jose Maria Del Nido for having knocked back Chelsea's offers for his services after his move to Stamford Bridge collapsed. With Chelsea signing fellow Brazilian fullback Giuliano Belletti for a much lower fee, after a public war of words between Alves and Del Nido, as well as the death of teammate Antonio Puerta, 
Alves decided to stay with Sevilla, with player and president ostensibly reconciled. Barcelona On 2 July 2008, Alves joined Barcelona, leaving Sevilla in tears and saying he would love to play for the club again. He said he came to Sevilla as a boy and was leaving as a man. The official price of the transfer stood at £23 million up front, with approximately £7 million more depending on a number of performance-related factors over the next few seasons of Alves' Barcelona career, making him one of the most expensive defenders in history and the third most expensive player bought by Barca. He signed a four-year contract with Barcelona, which included a buyout clause of €90 million. Euros. Alves made his competitive and European debuts, for Barcelona against Wisła Kraków in the 2008-09 UEFA Champions League third-round qualifiers on 13 August 2008. He made his La Liga debut in the Liga season opener away to Numancia on 31 August 2008. Later on in his debut season, he missed the 2009 UEFA Champions League final due to a yellow card suspension, although Barcelona nonetheless defeated Manchester United 2-0 to complete the treble after also winning La Liga in the 2008-09 Copa del Rey. In his second season at Barca, the club retained the Liga title and won the 2009 FIFA Club World Cup. In the 2010-11 season, Alves was instrumental in Barcelona's winning of their third consecutive Liga title. On 28 May 2011, Alves played in his first Champions League final as Barcelona defeated Manchester United 3-1 at Wembley Stadium to win its fourth European Cup. In 2011-12, Alves was part of a Barcelona team that won the Copa del Rey and the Club World Cup. In 2012-13, Alves won the Liga title for the fourth time in his five seasons at Barca. In 2013-14, Alves wore shirt number 22, formerly worn by his friend Eric Abidal, to whom he offered to donate part of his liver during Abidal's treatment for liver cancer. On 6 June 2015, Alves started for Barca in the 2015 Champions League final as the club won its fifth European Cup by beating Juventus at the Olympia Stadion in Berlin. This made Barcelona the first club in history to win the treble of domestic league, domestic cup and European Cup twice. Alves, Lionel Messi, Andres Iniesta, Xavi, Gerard Piquet, Pedro and Sergio Busquets are the only players to have been a part of both treble winning teams. On 9 June 2015, Alves signed a two-year contract with Barcelona, keeping him at the club until 30 June 2017, with the option to extend a further year. After Barcelona were eliminated by compatriots Atletico Madrid in the quarter-finals of the 2015-16 UEFA Champions League, Alves recorded a bizarre video in which he impersonated his wife consoling him for the defeat, and posted it on Instagram. Manager Luis Enrique subsequently dropped him from the following match against Valencia. On 2 June 2016, Roberto Fernandez, Barcelona's technical secretary, announced Alves was leaving Barcelona that summer after eight years. Although under contract until 30 June 2017, Barcelona allowed Alves to leave prematurely on a free transfer. Juventus On 27 June 2016, Juventus announced the signing of Alves on a two-year deal with the option of a third year. He made his Juventus debut on 20 August in a 2-1 home win over Fiorentina in Serie A. On 21 September, Alves scored his first goal with Juventus in a 4-0 home win over Cagliari, before opening his Champions League account with the club against Dinamo Zagreb six days later. On 27 November, he suffered a broken leg in Juventus' 3-1 defeat to Genoa. Alves made his return from injury as a substitute in a 1-0 derby d'Italia win over Internazio and I on 5 February 2017. On 9 May 2017, Alves scored once and assisted a goal for Mario Mandzukic as Juventus defeated Monaco 2-1 to qualify for the 2017 Champions League final. Six days earlier, Alves had assisted both goals for Gonzalo Higuain in the first leg of the tie at the Stade Louis II. On 17 May, Alves scored the opening goal of a 2-0 win over Lazio in the 2017 Coppa Italia final. On 3 June, 
Alves appeared in his fourth UEFA Champions League final as Juventus were defeated 4-1 by Real Madrid at the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff. On 29 June, Alves had his contract with Juventus terminated by mutual consent. He made 33 appearances, winning the 2016-17 Serie A title, and 2016-17 Coppa Italia in his one season in Turin. Paris Saint-Germain on 12 July 2017, Alves joined French side Paris Saint-Germain on a free transfer, signing a two-year contract. He made his debut for the club on 29 July in the 2017 Trophy des Champions, scoring once and assisting the winning goal for Adrian Rabiot in a 2-1 victory over 2016-17 Ligue 1 champions Monaco. On 5 August, Alves assisted Edinson Cabani. FUPSG's first goal of the 2017-18 League One season in a 2-0 defeat of Amiens at the Parc des Princes. Target of Racism On 27 April 2014, during a match at Villarreal Stadium, El Madrigal, Alves was targeted by Villarreal supporter David Campbellio, who threw a banana at him. Alves picked up the banana, peeled it and took a bite. He responded to the incident by saying, teammate Neymar's response to post a photograph of himself on social media also eating a banana went viral. Other footballers have also since taken photographs of themselves eating bananas. Cyril Regis, who had been racially abused while a player in the 1970s and 1980s, expressed concern that the viral campaign would detract from the important issues of combating racism in the game. Alves said that whoever threw the banana at him should be publicly shamed, and on 30 April 2014, a man was arrested in connection with the incident. Villarreal were later fined €12,000 for the incident. Alves had previously been subjected to racist taunts in Spain. He complained of racial abuse after being taunted by monkey chants during a Copa del Rey semi-final at Real Madrid in 2013. International career Alves made his Brazil debut as a substitute in an unofficial friendly match against Kuwaiti club Al-Kuwait selection on 7 October 2006. Three days later, he earned his first international cap in a friendly against Ecuador. He was included in Brazil's team for the 2007 Copa America. He appeared in four matches including the final against Argentina, where he gave an assist and scored a goal in a 3-0 victory. Despite being the most expensive right back in history, he has been unable to hold down a regular starting spot in the national team, with Macon being the first choice ahead of him. Alves came on as a substitute in the 2009 FIFA Confederations Cup semi-final against South Africa, and scored the winner, a free kick and a goal in the 88th minute in a 1-0 win. He scored another long-range free kick against Iran on 7 October 2010. On 7 May 2014, Alves was named to Brazil's squad for the 2014 FIFA World Cup. After Brazil defeated Colombia 2-1 in the quarter-finals, Alves and teammate David Luiz were applauded for comforting James Rodriguez, an act they were both commended for by both Rodriguez and the media for showing respect. Style of play Regarded as one of the best fullbacks of his generation, Alves is an offensive right-back or wing-back who is known in particular for his pace stamina, overlapping attacking runs, and technical skills, which also enable him to play in midfield, or as a winger. He is also gifted with good crossing accuracy and distribution, which allows him to link up with midfielders, and makes him an effective assist provider along the right flank. In addition to his ability to create chances, he is an accurate striker of the ball, and is known for his ability to score goals in particular from outside the area or long-range set pieces. Despite not being particularly imposing physically, he possesses significant strength and tenacity, which along with his energy, anticipation, and work rate, enable him to intercept passes or chase down and press opponents when not in possession, thus allowing him to aid his team both offensively and defensively. However, despite his skill and offensive ability, he has drawn criticism at times in the media for neglecting the defensive aspect of his game. Outside football. On 29 September 2011, Alves was appointed as a Special Olympics ambassador for its global football program, 
charged with promoting respect and inclusion in football for people with intellectual disabilities, particularly in the run-up to the 2014 World Cup. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries Would you like to know more?